Welcome back. This is Alex Louie teaching you introduction programming using C++. What I want to go over today is a two-way if statement. Two-way if. That's an if else. It's an if else and you've probably seen this before. If you haven't, if this is your first time, this is great. I can teach you a little bit of something you did not know. Now if if you are looking for the, at this video for the first time, I suggest that you start with uh, my initial video which is the if if you're looking at this video for the first time in terms of C++, I have the whole course outlined in YouTube. Uh, I would suggest you take, the, take a look at the whole uh, from the beginning, course from the beginning. So let's take a look. Um, so two-way if can be written many different ways. And the, w the way this behaves is that you will have a value 1 is less than value 2. You have a, con a conditional expression that's going to return a true or false value. If this returns a true, then it will execute this action over here. Now that we have added an else, if this condition is false, then it will automatically execute this action over here. So at most, it's going to either execute the body here or here. Now this is a one line if else, meaning that we could only put one line in the body of an if and one line in the body of an else. It's the first way to write this. Uh, there's about two, uh, three more ways that we can write this uh, and I'll show you the ways in a couple of minutes. So let's get down to it. So this is gonna actually going to return true because 10 is less than 15 uh, and then you're going to get some action. So if I compile and run a little bit, there you go so some action that's what it's printing out I will actually put in an inline here so that you see it more clearly so if I go to execute compile and run there is some action again because this returned a true, then it went into the body of this action here. Now, if I reverse this, okay, if I reverse this, that means this expression is actually going to return a false, which means that it's going to actually jump to the else. So the else will be here. So if I pro uh, compile and execute and run, then you will have the else action. Okay, so it's either or. It's either or depending on this conditional expression. Now, the other way that we can write it is we can have multiple statements inside the if and multiple statements inside the else depending on what you're trying to do. Depending on what you're trying to do in terms of your if else body. So again, this is something we call a compound statement and we can have multiple statements within the if and we can have multiple statements within the else and we are not limited to any commands here we can put another if within this else or we can put another if within this if what we can't put is another else within this if so I can't do this else that's not legal I cannot do that okay if I have an if it has to have an else if I have an else that means there has to be an if somewhere before the else I just can't have an else statement by itself so in this particular example we're going to take this condition here uh, and evaluate this expression it's either going to be a true or a false and this is actually going to be true so if I execute compile and run it's actually going to be true so it's going to go into the body of this if statement I have multiple actions action 2 if this conditional expression was false, then it would go into the else statement and execute whatever lines are within this else. Again, within this else, I can either start a new if statement and do that, blah, blah, blah. I can put a C out. I can put an assignment. It doesn't really matter as long as it's valid C++ syntax. And when you get to looping, we can actually put loops within an if and an else. So this is the second way to write an if else with multiple statements in the body. The next type of if else that I can write 
is a multiple body if with one action else. So if I do the following, okay, if I take a look at this statement here, I have multiple bo multiple statements in my if body, and I have only one statement in my else, and that's perfectly legal. So I can do compile and run, and this will have multiple actions because obviously this expression is true. And if this is true, I'm oh, sorry, if this is true, then this will get executed. Okay, if this is false, then this one partic this particular statement will get executed. And if I don't, if I don't put any open brackets, close brackets, that means that my else will only have one line. So what does that mean? It means that if I put another C out statement here, hello world, hello world will not be part of my else. Hello world is a statement outside of this else. So even because this is going to be true, right, you think that this won't execute, but it will, okay, because this particular statement is not part of this else. It's actually part of nothing. It's just part of the actual C++ program. So if we go and compile and run, you're going to see the hello world executed, right? So hello world executed because really this C out is not part of this else. It's actually part of just the program itself. So make sure that you remember that when you're writing your else. Now, if I put brackets in there, open bracket, close bracket, and I enclose them within my else and that's a different story then we have those two statements as part of the else okay so this is another way to write an if else okay and last but not least if I want to write it with one body if one line body if and multiple lines and else I can do that too so in this particular statement I can put uh, one C out here, multiple statements here as a compound statement of my else. Now, what happens if I put another line right below my C out over here? You're going to get a syntax error because that's not allowed. Okay, that's not allowed because we have the if else married together. And if I try and put another statement here, like so, uh, hello, okay, you're going to get a syntax error if I try and compile it. Because the compiler says, I don't understand the syntax. I know that you have an if, you only have one line here, and then you're trying to have an else here. Not sure what you're trying to do, the compiler is going to say. So you can't do that, okay? Which is opposite of what we just went over with the else. You actually can do that, but that's because the else, you have one line body, and you don't have anything else married to that. So if I do that, then this is still going to be based off the expression here if it's true or false if it's true it'll execute that if it's false then it will execute the lines in between the compound statement for the else so if I run this <clears throat> you see a one line action and if I change and flip the signs I run that Call and run you see multiple line else line 2 Okay. So easy, simple as that. Now we know what a one-way if is and a two-way if in this particular lecture. If you didn't understand about the one-way if, I suggest you go back to my lecture of a one-way if uh, and continue on with this lecture, which is a two-way if. On the next video, we will talk about a multi-way if, which is an if, else if, if, else if, if, else if, uh, and multiple ways that we can write that. And then you'll be powerful enough to start writing some mean selection statements thanks again for thanks again for listening name is alex louis you can always email me at part-time magic at gmail.com or you can reach me at my blog and website part-time thanks for listening i will see you in the next video